After each widely covered mass shooting, politicians and the White House follow a script. What stops armed bad guys is armed good guys. And it's shameful that the NRA and their allies have stood in the way of every attempt to advance measures that will that will that we all know will save lives from gun violence. Democrats point to the National Rifle Association under the assumption that it stands in the way of gun control, all because they say the NRA has Republicans wrapped around its finger. Where's the backbone? Where's the courage to stand up to a very powerful lobby? But hold on, the NRA tried to declare bankruptcy in 2021. So is it really money that makes the NRA powerful? And is its influence waning? We have data for the 2020 election from Open Secrets, a nonpartisan organization tracking money in politics. It says the NRA only spent about $5.4 million in lobbying that cycle. In 2016, it had spent more than $6.7 million. And when it comes to outside spending, think super PACs and dark money, the NRA did use more than 29 million, but that's a little more than half the amount it spent in 2016. If you're wondering why, the answer is simple. The NRA is spending less money on candidates and policy pushing, likely because it's making less money. Revenue was down by 23% between 2016 and 2020, according to CBS. And because the NRA makes money from its members, we look to those numbers. Internal documents leaked to the reload show membership has been shrinking since 2018. Keep in mind, legal fees applied even more pressure after the New York and DC attorney generals sued the organization over allegations of fraud and abuse. The groups even attempted to move from New York to Texas. Also, there was a coup to overthrow CEO Wayne LaPierre around the same time. So the NRA, with a century and a half of history, appears to be losing its financial influence. But it does still have some clout. That leverage lies in its deeply rooted support and the mass voting power that comes with it. If a politician wavers on arms policy, his NRA rating could easily change and his position could be at risk. Yet the voting power could eventually diminish too, along with the money, if the group cuts educational programs, which it reportedly already has in the wake of this year's convention. Those programs have been instrumental in priming future supporters and reinforcing the need for safe, responsible firearm use as opposed to gun control.